Welcome to Business Reporters' Data Analytics Campaign, hosted at The Telegraph Online. I'm George Banner. If data is the gold of today's economy and big data is Fort Knox, how do we unlock this to deliver business advantage? We've invited David Toulier from Montreal Associates to help us understand how we can profit the most from big data. Good morning, David. Good morning. David, who has the most advanced big data tech today? Tech companies uh, obviously have the most advanced big data technology. Uh, they were early adopters, so companies such as Google or Uber are far more advanced than many others. But the problem today with big data is not about technology. The problem today is more about finding the people with the skills to understand the data, to mine the data, and to bring relevant insight to companies. Why is it such a problem? Because we see universities, colleges training up um, experts in big data, IT, cybersecurity. How does the market respond to this? Well, the market is absorbing any resource uh, that is coming out of university today. The problem we have is that companies uh, and many are implementing big data solutions as we speak, uh, are looking for people with skills, people with experience, people with transferable skills. So it's that gap that needs to be closed in the next few years until those young graduates build experience and can come with their three, four, five years experience in the big data field. Obviously, it's not, you know, big data is something that's been around for, for, for some time now. Why has this balance between supply and demand slightly tipped to the demand side? Some companies were early adopters, um, digital native companies, essentially internet companies as well, uh, we mentioned Google, but the vast majority of sectors, industries uh, and therefore companies today are only starting implementing big data solutions. Uh, there's one reason for that, obviously. They had infrastructure and applications that work to deliver their business and make money. Nowadays, uh, they feel that they're ready uh, to implement big data solutions and we have the conversions of many, many companies implementing at the same time. When these companies are looking to hire these experts, what are the capabilities and skills that they're looking for? Well, obviously, they're looking for analytical, analytical skills. Sure. Um, and most people in the field of big data uh, would have advanced uh, math, uh, statistics, uh, and computer science degrees, if not PhD. But big data is project driven. Um, so you are also looking for people who can work within a team with the interpersonal skills and communication skills required to do so. You're also looking for people um, who have a passion for technology. Um, there is a lot of new technology joining the big data marketplace every day. So you have to be ready to adapt to new things daily almost. And then if we look at it from the other side of the table, what are these experts looking for from a company? What's going to attract them to, to go and work for someone? The talented people in big data are passionate about technology, so uh, they would want to make sure uh, a prospective employer has an interest in cutting-edge technology and is looking to invest in the near future in big data. They also need to feel that big data is a strategic topic uh, for those pro prospective employers. And I would say last, like any job seeker, they're looking for the right salary, uh, attractive if possible, uh, sure. but also a good employer able to provide career prospects beyond those two or three years of big data implementation. And you're sort of acting a, a, as a matchmaker in between the, these two groups. So how do you actually get the right people into the right jobs? Well, as a company, we've been involved uh, in placing CRM and BI specialists for the past decade. We believe that those people have transferable skills and can probably help bridge the gap we were talking about earlier. Many of them have worked in project-based environments, have dealt with a lot of data, probably not as unstructured as the ones you see in big data nowadays. But still, they understand data. They understand, for most of them, the uh, specifics of industries and therefore uh, have, in our opinion, very transferable skills to the big data marketplace. So it certainly seems like an exciting time to be 
working around big data in the recruitment side, but if we cast our gaze to the future, what do you see as the major trends that are coming around big data in the next three to five years? Well, as a marketplace, uh, big data represents today probably something around 10% of the whole IT global market. Uh, we believe that within three to five years, it will probably account for 33%, oh, one wow. third of the, of the global IT market. A lot of companies uh, had to look at their infrastructure um, to see if they could cope with big data applications. Many of them feel ready today. So we're about to embark a number of years with new implementations. Uh, this will drive innovation and growth in all sectors. And obviously, fantastic opportunities for people working in uh, big data environments and uh, uh, big data careers. It certainly seems like uh, big data is the future. David Tullier from Morial Associates, thank you very much. You're welcome.